Hey guys and welcome to my channel and thanks so much for tuning in today. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Meshi and I am a registered massage therapist and a holistic nutritionist here in Waterloo, Ontario. I'm also the clinic owner of Path to Wellness Massage and also I write regularly to my blog pathtowellness.co. Don't worry about it. All of these links are going to be down in the description if you ever wanted to check it out and get some new inspiration. But today, I wanted to welcome you. This is such an exciting day. I wanted to welcome you to this segment where I will kick off my new wellness journey. So I'm all about honoring wellness as an actual journey rather than looking at it like a single-handed destination. So I thought, why not, you know, actually document my full journey with running? So here's a little background. Well, first of all, if you wanted to just uh, play it, I will create like a full playlist for this so you can just click play. And if you wanted to learn more about it, you can also click on the subscribe button and the little bell and then it will always give you new updates whenever I release videos. Okay, let's get into this. So the main, the main motivation, well, first of all, let me just, uh, why? So the main motivation behind uh, me wanting to document my running journey has a lot to do with really just in the past couple of years, it's been a, an on again, off again struggle when it comes to fitness and wellness. And I found that just going to the gym regularly hasn't really been all that satisfying. It hasn't really been very fulfilling and it wasn't very sustainable for me. I found it very boring after a few sessions and I would be extremely sore and it wasn't very exciting to be honest with you, especially if you have young children like I do. Um, not that that's ever an excuse, but with young kids around, um, the scheduling was always sort of wonky and it was just not really happening. So I knew that I needed to make a change, but I wasn't quite sure what to start with. And the more I would be um, reading uh, just fitness materials and anything inspirational, a, a lot of it, a lot of the teachings kind of came back to really just committing to a time specific project and you have to have a start date and an end date because otherwise you can, otherwise you're more than likely to not really commit to any of your goals. So I thought, what better way than to actually just commit to running and pick a date and try and learn how we can train for, um, we're going to begin with training for a 4K. So that, and then in about two to three months, I wanted to give myself enough time to actually get ready to train for a 10K race. And ultimately between now, so right now it's May, all the way up to about January. January would be the time that we are training for a half a marathon. So for those of you that are brand new to running, a half a marathon is about 21K. And this is going to be a very interesting journey for me. And it's very different than what I've ever done in the past because I'm not a runner. I have competed in karate before and I have been athletic and I played many, many sports as a, ch as a child, but not once have I actually gone full throttle with running. So this is going to be quite interesting. But the main motivation for me to actually get started with this and to document it had a lot to do with all of you guys. And I realized that in order for me to really measure my own progress, and to really share what I have learned, I would need to document it and make it a bit more measurable. And I know that if I'm documenting it, it makes it a lot more easier for me to stick with it and have a lot more accountability. So I'm trying to basically eliminate all of the different elements that would allow me to just punk out. <laughs> if, if you wanna kinda call it that. So I hope, my big wish is it has not a lot to do with weight loss. My, my fitness goals have not a lot to do with weight loss. I'm basically going to be measuring my progress with timing. So I'm measuring how much I'm able to run at any given time. So I'm measuring endurance. I'm going to talk to you about 
my progress, my the apps that I'm using, the things that I wore when it was cold outside, the things that I wore um, when I was running indoors, the main differences that I personally found. So I will give you my full review on that. I will also give you um, the app and then the breakdown of how each week progressed and also I will add some of the nutritional information as well which I you know it's very very near and dear to my heart as to what you can eat beforehand what you can eat you know whatever you want but what I was eating beforehand what I was eating during if I ate anything and then also post workout as well so if you're interested in following me along, which I, I truly hope that you are, and not because it's gonna be another video that you just get to watch and it becomes, you know, just healthful entertainment, but I really hope that you will watch this so that it will it can be your source of inspiration and we can actually start a dialogue because my big hope is that some of you that are watching this are actual runners and you probably know a whole lot more about running than I do at this point. And I hope that you will come forward with your beautiful energy and with your amazing tips because this is exactly how we can all learn if we open up and if we share and we create this wonderful community where we can all get started with running and we can actually enjoy it as a beautiful sport that it actually is. So if you are interested, please keep on watching. I have created a full playlist, so let's get into this. And if you wanted to follow along the written version of this, I you can also find that I will have a link come up right around here. And you can you can also read about it and I will write down again the apps and like all the details if you would prefer to just not watch the video but you wanted to read instead, you totally can do that too. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye. So I'm trying to basically eliminate all of the different elements that would allow me to just punk out. <laughs> if, if you want to kind of call it that. So really my big, my big motivation was for documenting the running journey itself is for you to really just feel like you have permission to get started too. So if you want to learn more about, you know, how I got started, um, I'm going to be covering in different videos basically what I... Close the door. Hey guys!